I'm gonna go through some N10 and M11 cards. I think this specific video is probably gonna be only the M10 cards. Now, what you see here is the uh, smaller piles, M10, M11, M10, M11, are the ones from my collection from cards from packs that I cracked years back, so they're pack fresh. Uh, these are from what I call the crap box that I recently bought, and it is a crap box, it was, and it had way too much blue. But it had a lot of good cards, and I paid a penny a card. So, you know, even if I call it a crap box, you can't complain about penny cards. And so if you clean them out, and you take out all the bad ones, and they really weren't that many, and you leave in all, leave in all your LP near mint, which is what I did, yeah, sure. I mean, when you look at the pile from the side, uh, you can tell that some of the cards have a little, you know, mi some minor dirt play. But when you look at the cards from the front, uh, they all look good. And if a card has a little chip, you know, a very minor uh, chip on the edge, you know, like that, you can actually find those in, uh, in pack fresh cards. And none of these cards are ever going to be sent for grading. And they're for fun builds. So, I mean, come on. We're having fun. Who cares? Uh, all right, so I think I'm gonna just just gonna, in this video I'm just gonna go through the M10 piles, my my old pile and the one that I got, and I've got some more M10 coming up coming in, and I'll be looking for M10 lots to fill the hole with bulk first, and then I think I'm gonna start doing a few M10 uh, singles buys over the course of the year, and probably a little 10th edition. I think I'll fork money for a Crucible of Word uh, Worlds. 10th uh, edition just because this is a cube and I want it in it. Whenever I see this card in my collection, and I think I have multiples by now, but when I look at these specific cards which I know come from my collection, I bet you there's only one of that card in here. I don't think I pulled it from any of the packs. These are not ordered. I'll just show them quickly. Um, yeah, so one of these cards, of this card, came in a lot that I bought. I forget what lot it was years ago. And so from now on, from since, ever since, whenever I see this card, I think of that lot that I bought and somebody just put this card in it, I don't know, for fun, just like, hey, you know, thank you. Kind of like I said, thank you. And I, I like that, that was pretty cool. And I even scanned it and it's in my blog. And these days I never put links to my blog and my videos uh, especially since Kappa, I don't worry about what I put in the comments. A lot of times I upload videos without any uh, description, which is kind of not cool. And I may go back and start doing that. But I, I have continued to update the blog. And so, yeah, this card, this, it may very well be this specific physical card. Anyways, let's go through my very, very, very tiny selection of M10 car 10 cards before the the crap box selection and what i hope will be many many more of course there's very heavy repetition across all these courses of the same cards uh but i don't care we're having fun okay and these are not orders so i'll just show them And I did crack enough M10 to crack Underworld Dreams. Underworld Dreams? Yes. Which is my favorite artwork on a Magic card. And I have it in the, uh, I think I put it in the Guilds Cube. Soul Sisters. Soldiers for the 10th edition Soldier deck. And I've never cracked a lightning bolt, so I ordered some. I ordered a complete uh, commons for M10, uh, and I ordered three sets, so I'll have three lightning bolts in this cube coming up. Uh, but yeah, I never did crack one. Of course, I cracked so little of M10 and M11. Actually, the step one in this uh, building of this core set has been. Uh, 
build up M10 and M11 to fill the hole. Uh, because, of course, 10th edition is, is not a hole I needed to be filled, even though I found this fantastic lot that I made videos of in this playlist. Uh, it's not a hole I needed to be filled. I already had a really good selection to get started with. And that's wonderful. It's really great when you lay out a, a cube idea and you start implementing it, that out of the gate, your very first uh, set is your favorite set of magic. And you luckily are able to get and have a large selection of that set. That's really wonderful. It's a great start. It would have sucked if my cubing started with M10, because that's the one that has the smallest representation in my current cards. And I'm, I'm building a cube, and even though these cards have been reprinted many times, I'm not going to put in cards uh, that are reprinted from somewhere else just because they're cheaper. I'm, I'm going to get the proper... It's, it's, it's a collector's cube. Collector slash player cube. More elementals for Omnath. Cats. I'm not sure if Ikoria belongs in this cube. Of course, Ikoria probably belongs in every cube that I'll ever build. And uh, we'll find out. I mean, where where we branch off uh, will be part of the fun of uh, having a Corset cube. And of course, I don't think it's any fun to build a Corset cube only with Corset cards. Great card. Always a fantastic common. Enters the battlefield, it's a low drop and it draws you a card. Boom! Lots of walls in the early core sets uh, for Black Border. Fire breathing. I love this artwork. It's really nice. It it reminds me of Innistrad. Yeah, so this is my very tiny selection of M10 commons. Uh, before getting started with the core set cube. 